Welcome to the Bridge Church Midweek Podcast. We exist to connect people with others and God. We hope this week's episode helps you do just that. Enjoy. Hey, Bridge Church. Again, welcome to the Bridge Church Midweek Podcast. And as we have been doing for several months now, at the end of each sermon series, we are providing a short recap just to refresh your memory on what we taught on, what we discussed and learned together as a church through our different teaching series on Sunday morning across all of our campuses. And of course, we are wrapping up the month of September and we spent the whole month on the topic of prayer with our sermon series called When We Pray. And it was a four-week sermon series, well, really a three-part teaching series with a short break for us to hear from our Hispanic campus pastor, Pastor Lionel Romero, and he also taught on prayer. But I want to give a short reminder on what we discussed in each week of When We Pray. Week one, Pastor Todd gave uh, a great introduction to this topic of prayer, and he led us through a study of Luke chapter 11, when the disciples approach Jesus and say, hey, would you teach us how to pray? The bottom line for that message was prayer learning is great, but prayer doing is better. Jesus didn't just teach them facts about prayer, but he led them into a model on how they can actually step out and get into the practice of prayer. And of course, what he gave them is the Lord's Prayer. And so Pastor Todd walked through each part of the Lord's Prayer and how it can be a great framework and model for our day-to-day prayer life as well. In week two of When We Pray, we talked about the topic of persistence in prayer. We stayed in Luke chapter 11, but we got into a couple of imaginary scenarios that Jesus told, a couple of stories that he told um, in Luke chapter 11 about the man who approaches his neighbor in the middle of the night requesting a loaf of bread so that he can be a good host. The three things we learned in that sermon was what is an appropriate prayer, what is our position in prayer? And what happens in the process of prayer? What is an appropriate prayer? Everything. God doesn't say, don't bring me your meaningless little things. I have bigger fish to fry. We can bring anything and everything to the Lord in prayer. What is our position in prayer? Well, the two positions that are painted in the story that Jesus tells are the position of friend and the position of child. And what happens in the process of prayer? Well, we find that when we persistently approach God, we're not just like changing God's mind, but he is in fact changing us. And then in the final week of the When We Pray sermon series, we learned about praying God's word. And Pastor Todd gave us the bottom line that says, when we pray God's word, we pray God's will. And it was an incredible sermon about how God's word, the Bible, can be a guide for us as we pray, whether we are praying the actual prayers written in Bible, in the Bible, or we are rewording them in our own words, in our own context, as a guide for our prayer life. Which leads me to invite you to our Wednesday night Bible study. We are about halfway through it called Pray First. And in the coming weeks at both of our campuses on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m., we are going to get very practical on how we can pray God's word, different parts of the scripture, the Lord's prayer, the prayer of Jabez, walking through the tabernacle in prayer. So please join join us. Kent Primrose will be leading that study. He has been at the Waukesha campus, and I will be leading it at our Oconomowoc campus every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., with the exception of the first Wednesday of the month, which is our pursuit night. Well, I hope that your prayer life has improved as a result of this sermon series. And thank you so much for joining us for this short recap of the When We Pray sermon series. It's going to be a great day. Thank you for listening. Connect with us online at bridgechurch.net. Have a great day.